with the nurses and clinical officers strike entering the second week, there is still no deal with their employers, nor an end in sight to the suffering of patients who rely on public health care. A meeting with the Healthcare Workers Union and the Ministry of Labor scheduled for today was aborted and has been adjourned until tomorrow to allow employers to consult. This even as doctors are set to commence their strike in five days. Let's get more from our very own Dorcas Wangira. If real tears have been shed for healthcare workers who have died in the line of duty, they have been shed here in Kapkagaon, Nandi County, for Victor Kipngetich Tiony, the clinical officer in charge of the Kapkangani Health Center, who died of COVID-19 complications at the age of 32. At the time of his death, he had left behind a medical bill of 2 million shillings and his colleagues were fundraising to settle it and gave him a decent send-off. Tiony's death, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers said, could have been avoided. Kiwa tunaona mgonjo tupewa hili naito N95. Sio hii surgical mask. Kwa sababu at the end of the day utafanya aerosol examination. Na hiyo inako expose a lot. Ni uchungu zaidi kwa sababu mimi kama speaker na waishimiwa wangu and staff from county assembly, we are all covered. It is a better even for me as a speaker to wait for my cover but have you as a doctor covered so that I can get the service. In Kericho County, filling the gap left by public health care workers mm-hmm. is proving to be a heavy burden for private health care facilities with an influx of patients since the strike began and has continued for 10 days. The strain is being felt at the Kericho nursing home. Currently during the strike, the county government has given us Im- uh, vaccines and you are able to see uh, immunize all the children who need immunization. The only challenge is uh, as a private hospital, we don't get those uh, uh, personal uh, protective equipments. So we usually uh, source for them ourselves. A meeting scheduled Tuesday with the unions and the Ministry of Labor to broker a deal aborted and was rescheduled for Thursday. While some governors are supporting the healthcare workers' push, some are castigating healthcare workers and terming their demands as unrealistic. Unaskia daktari ako katika ICU they are manning the ICU na nakwambia naenda mgomo is that not a murderer if you go on strike and you have patients who require your service around the clock you are not doing service to your country whoever is going to suffer is ourselves and i am not telling you to call off the strike there are reasons why you called the strike i am not telling you to call out, to call off that strike we have achieved what we could be able to achieve at the county level. Who, the people failing us, the national government, use your wisdom. In a letter dated December 10th to the Council of Governors, COG, SRC Chairperson Lin Mengich said the government cannot afford the allowances being requested by healthcare workers, citing, and I quote, as provided for in the revised guidelines on collective bargaining agreement in public service, affordability is one of the key considerations by the commission when determining parameters for collective bargaining negotiations, end of quote. Striking clinical officers and nurses want their rates increased to 30,000 shillings per month. Doctors are currently earning 20,000 shillings risk allowance per month. Mm-hmm. Nurses, 3,850 shillings per month. Clinical officers, 3,000 shillings. And other officers, 2,000 shillings. Rates which SRC want maintained. The doctor strike, which was suspended for 14 days to allow for dialogue, is set to begin on Monday, December 21st, in the event that a deal is not yet reached. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.